I'm showing you my July haul. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. Let's show you the things that I got in the month of July, starting with the pins. I didn't get a ton of pins this month, it's only three, but they are gorgeous. So the first pin that I got was actually part of a Hot Topic order and I believe I was getting a present for somebody and I was using some kind of like coupon or gift code and to get like the free shipping I like put a few extra things in the box and one of them was this little mystery box here. So it is this Emperor's New Group box and I wanted this one because I would be okay with all of the ones that are in the box. Any option that I could have gotten I would have been okay with and now I'm debating if I should try to get more boxes of it because I want more of them because they were really big and really really cute. I really like the one of Pacha doing his little like thing and I love Kronk with the spinach puffs and of course the devil Kronk and angel Kronk and they are like pointing at each other so if you put them next to each other they'll be pointing at each other so I'm also like should I get that one too so there's a whole thing so obviously I didn't get any of those four but I did get this one of Cusco saying bring it on and look how big that is it's really it's a really good size so then I got this pin. This was actually a pre-order from this small shop called Pins Upon a Time. So I'll link them down below so you can check them out. And the packaging, I will say, is just beautiful. It's so cute. So they put a little card in there saying, hi, thanks for supporting our small shop. We hope you enjoy your order. Please tag us in your photos and have a magical day. The Pin Sisters at Pins Upon a Time. On like the package, as well as on the bottom here, they have this cute little washi tape that's like Alice in Wonderland. So that's really cute. I think they might sell it in their store but I'm not sure. And it also came with this cute like sticker that's pretty cute of this little reindeer. And then it came all tied up in this little package. But obviously I opened it already because I wanted to make sure that it looked all good. But it's in like a page from Harry Potter with Tinkerbell stickers like washi tape on it. Packaged very cutely. Yes, it's page 66 and 65 of Harry Potter. Uh, the fourth book because it's the port key. But this pin is so cute. So it's the very first pin I have for this movie and it is a fantasy pin but I do not even care because I love the style of this pin and I absolutely love this movie and I wish that they would make some more pins for this movie that I would want. But here's their backer card, Pins Upon a Time, and here's the pin. So it's a Meet the Robinsons pin. It says keep moving forward there and I love that it has the little ship and it has the town that Lewis Robinson made. And then we have a little Mickey, like a little hidden Mickey there in the bubbles so that's really really cute so I just thought this was so cute and it's so well done and of course supporting small shops is always a win. Thank you guys for this pin it's super duper cute and I love it. And then the last pin that I got for the month is one that I just got from Macari. I'm not gonna say that it's Disneyland because it probably is also at Disney World I'm just not there anymore. This line of like character gift boxes that they've come out with and of course you know the one that I had to get because I loved all of the detail that they put into it. It's the Tangled one. Duh. <laughs> It's so cute. Just look at all the detail on this. So of course we have the frying pan there. And then we have two of the books that she actually takes off the shelves to read in her opening song. So we have Botany and I believe that's Geology. And the other one that she reads is, I believe, Cooking. And then we have some of her paint palette and paint brushes. The flower here is super like glittery. So I love that. And then it looks like she's painted the box that the gift box is in. And we have Pascal here. So he's a pin on pin little option. So there's two pin backs, one keeping him on there and then one for just the general pin so he's like on top of it and like moves around he's in his little dress here so you can probably also take him off and make him a separate pin next to it so he is so cute i didn't even know that he was a part of it i just loved this part so i love that that's a little bonus i just loved the detail on this and i'm a huge rapunzel fan so of course it's a limited edition of 2250 so those were all the pins that i got now let's get into the stuff one thing that i got was just something we found while grocery shopping is a Rapunzel Squishmallow. Okay, I did not know this existed. And as soon as I saw her, I was like, you're coming home with me. And she's just so cute and she's so squishy. And Michael actually uses her as a pillow when he's on our futon upstairs. So she is just so super cute. I absolutely love her like little green eyes. I love that they did that detail. I love how her hair looks everywhere on the back. It's so cute. And they have her little dress here and she's just 
oh I love her so yes I do have another Squishmallow this Sully one and this one are the only like big ones that I have and that's okay I don't need giant ones but she was just too cute to pass up and I'm so happy I have her so uh, another thing that I got is with that Hot Topic order I was actually looking for some new earrings so I'm actually wearing a pair from this little set that I got there's these cute little ones little cottage core vibes of this little frog holding a strawberry there's just a little strawberry one like a little daisy kind of one are these little jam jars we have this one of like apricot jam strawberry jam plum jam they're so super cute look at that that's adorable and then i got some funkos so if you don't know i try to limit myself on having a funko budget each month and picking ones off of my wish list and just keeping track of trying to get a good price for the funkos that i want off my wish list and everything the three that i got for this month and i don't think any of them are disney well i guess that one's kind of disney but they're not really disney which is really cool so i'm adding some like other things into my collection which i really like so the one i say is kind of disney is a marvel one um because disney does own marvel now but it is this one of cap so captain america from avengers infinity war and i got this one because i do love captain america but i love this one especially because of the beard cap with a beard chef's kiss that was so sad at the beginning of endgame here are all the other ones that you can also get from this specific series of infinity war i don't really think i want any of these because infinity war was very very tragic i think i have that iron spider though yeah i do have that iron spider and all marvel funko pops are also bobbleheads i forget that every time until i open it and i'm like oh yeah but i think his like suit looks really really cool look at how cool his suit looks and I think I got this for like probably about the standard, like 11 or 12 bucks. So that's pretty good. And then another one that we got is Corpse Bride Emily. So I absolutely love the Corpse Bride. That's like one of my favorite Halloween movies. I just love it so much. And when I saw that they had a Corpse Bride Funko Pop of Emily, she was like one of my faves. I would love to be her for Halloween one year. Like, look at her. She's so cool. And she was like really super on sale when I found her too, so very happy. The other ones you can get is you can get Victor with the little dog as the buddy. I don't know if I really want him because I kind of like Emily just better. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh, look at her dress. I love the way her dress looks. And then the veil. Oh my gosh, I love the translucent veil looking here. And the, oh, I just absolutely love it so much. So very, very much. So there is like another version of her where she has like a worm poking out of her eye and that's like some kind of exclusive. I kind of, I like this version better because the worm poking out of her eye is a little... A little too creepy for me, but I love this because it's just the right amount of spooky for me. Always check for a stand. And then the third Funko Pop that I got is another just fandom that I absolutely love, but you don't see a lot of back here because it's not Disney owned, and that is Avatar. And I got the Sako Funko Pop, and I've been wanting to get the different Avatar Funko Pops for a while. I've been going back and forth, back and forth, and I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to start it because he was a really good price online. He is absolutely hilarious. I love his growth, and he also reminds me a lot of Michael. So these are some of the other ones that you can collect. I don't know if I really want any of these ones besides the one that I got of Sokka. There are other ones that they came out with more recently that I want a lot more from. So here he is, little Sokka. Sokka. I absolutely love him. His little stance with his boomerang there and his little tuft of hair. I absolutely love it. Very happy to start my Avatar Funko Pop collection. Oh, and they even have his necklace. You can't even really see it, but they have his necklace on there. I love that. And on the back, oh my gosh, it has his little boomerang holder. That's so cute. You gotta love the details on these. So those were the three that I got as part of my like budget. These are the only Funko Pops I'm getting. It's about $30, $35 that I try to cap myself at. I did get some other Funko Pops though. But before I get to those, I did get this really cool book because Amazon, in July they were having like Amazon Prime Day or whatever. And so there were a bunch of really good deals on things. And one of my friends was getting a ton of books and she was like, go check out any books that you wanna get right now or any books that are on your to be read list, like go check out and see if they have a good deal on them and they did and i'm not huge i want to get a bunch of books in physical copy versions unless i think that they're really pretty or anything like that or books that i think i'm going to want to keep for a very long time otherwise i'll probably just try to get them on my kindle because they're cheaper that way and they don't take up space but 
this was a lot cheaper to get it as a hardcover book instead of paperback or even on Kindle, so that's why I got it. So super duper pretty, very fantasy, very much in my aesthetic, I believe. So it is So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens. I have not read it yet. It is absolutely beautiful, though. Look at all that fantasy lore, and it's a little gay, and I love when things are just a little gay. But it is so beautiful. Like, look at that art on it, and the art on the back is just absolutely beautiful so this book like on the back it says retails for 20 bucks and i got it for like seven great deal absolutely great deal and to get it on my kindle was like 12 bucks so i didn't want to do that i was going to read you the bio but it's a lot longer than i thought it was going to be also you can follow me on my instagram that is my bookstagram that i have started called punzi reads so i'll link that also down below and so i do book reviews of things that i read as well as just talking about all things books because i absolutely love reading and i love books and i started a bookstagram so follow me down there now we'll get into the other funko pops that i also got this month outside of those three. There's a story behind each of them. This first one is one that I have obviously wanted for a while. Everything, every Funko that I've gotten this month was on my wish list. So they were all things that I have wanted for a while. It wasn't just I saw it and I bought it. But this one, Michael and I went to the mall and we were just looking around because I just like looking around and shopping sometimes. And I saw this one at Box Lunch in person. I was like, cool, this is one I've wanted. And it's been on pre-order for a while and it's actually cheaper in the store and I don't have to pay for shipping. And I had $5 coupon at Box Lunch anyway. So I got him. It's Dr. Facilier, the new one from this lineup. So I don't really want any of the other ones from this series except for the Dr. Facilier and the Ursula on her big throne but she's not on the back of this one because she's like a more deluxe size Funko Pop. But let's get him out. I don't have a Dr. Facilier pop and I don't really like the first two that they came out with him but I absolutely love this one and I love it even more now that I've actually like really looked at it because of the stuff that they put on the bottom and I love these like new pedestal ones. They did it with the Ultimate Disney Princess Collection that I got quite a few from and I absolutely love this for him. Him. So he looks so cool there. I love the hat. The hat is awesome and his, his little coattails and he's holding the necklace there and he's got some candles. We have the skull. But look at the bottom. It looks like like little voodoo markings. I love that so much. I also love that they did his cheekbones. Look at his cheekbones. I love that they even put that on the Funko Pop. So I have like a little villain's corner over here. So he's definitely going to go with them. The next one is one that I got in a pre-order of a Funko Pop. It came out and I found out about it on the day that it came out and I was lucky enough to be able to order it from Walmart as an exclusive to be able to get free shipping. I was like, okay, let me add a few other things into my cart. So I did get some Christmas gifts for people and everything ahead of time and I was so close to getting free shipping. So I put this in my cart too because I saw her for a very good price. It's my second Avatar Funko Pop and it is Tylee and I love Kylie. She's like one of my other favorite characters because I just love how bubbly and silly she is and just oh I love her so much and I also really love the fan theory of how she is an airbender actually. I just think that's really really cool. I don't know if she actually is but I just like to think about it as that. So this is the second set of the lineup that came out. So I obviously really want Suki to go with my Sokka. I have Tai Lee now. I think Aang in this state is pretty cool, but I don't know if I would want him. So here she is. I love the pose that they put her into. That's a very Tai Lee pose. So I absolutely love it. So she's got her cute little slippers on and everything. And I love her hair. She is so cute. It's so cool. We have two Avatar Funko Pops now. Yay! Another Funko Pop <laughs> that I got from Macari. And I have settings on my Macari to where it there's like certain keywords that I have notifications set for. So I'll see anytime something pops up for sale for those certain things. And one of them is just Disney Funko Pops in general. And this actually popped up for like a super cheap price. I've seen this being sold everywhere for like $60. And it's not just a Funko Pop. It's Pop Town. So it's like a house kind of thing plus a regular Funko figure and this one also came with a buddy so it's a lot. $60 makes sense why they would sell it for that much. Usually at retail they would be about $50 or something and I saw this person selling it for $30 and I even like offered them lower and they accepted it and I did not expect them to accept it but they did and so I got it and I'm really excited because it is a Christmas decoration. It is the Peppermint Lane Santa Claus and Nutmeg with the house. And the house apparently 
lights up. Let's finally get this thing out of here so we can see it. I'll show you some of the other pop towns that they came out with this Peppermint Lane series. I don't think I would really want any of the other ones. Let's show you Santa first. So Santa is in his like PJs kind of. So he's like kind of on summer vacation or something. And his little mug says, I believe. And look at just how cute he is. I love his little Christmas shorts there. He's got his little slippers and his mug. And I love his little nightcap. He looks so, so cute. And it comes with a little corgi named Nutmeg. Is <laughs> what he's called. And it's so cute. So this is the little buddy nutmeg. And I just think a corgi buddy is just, that's just so cute. He even has like the little cinnamon swirl butt. And then this is the house. So on the bottom here, that's the like on and off switch. And in there is double A batteries where they would go. But this is so cute. I love this as a Christmas decoration. And the fact that it's just like, it's a Funko. That's so cool. And I love the Christmas tree here and the snow on top is like kind of glittery so that's really cool. The door there with the candy cane and it says claws up at the top there. Around the back and stuff it's pretty like normal and everything. The main thing is here at the front. Oh and they even have in the window they have their Christmas tree. That's a really cute detail. I love that. I'll probably keep him back in the box just because anything that is a bigger pop I try to keep the boxes especially if they are Halloween or Christmas I try to keep them just in the boxes year round unless it is that time when I'm decorating with them. And then I have some more stuff. My mom moved out of our childhood home. She sold our childhood home and with that she had to go through a lot of things from that house because that's the house that I just that I grew up in. That's like the only house I've ever known. We moved there when I was six months old, so it's been a while. And we had stuff all the way since I was a baby and we were going through a bunch of it. So I wanted to show you some of that because my baby theme was Winnie the Pooh and I did get some more Winnie the Pooh stuff. One of them being, I have a bunch of my Winnie the Pooh like plushies from when I was a child. I'll see if I can link a video showing that off up above. But one of them that I didn't know that I had and that we found, was Gopher. So here he is. So this gives you an idea of what the other plushies kind of look like. So we have my Gopher plush. We found him. Gopher isn't always my favorite, but I do love the way he talks with the whistle sound. So, so happy I found him. So he'll go with the rest of them. There's this really cute umbrella. Look at how tiny this little umbrella is. And it's really cute. I know it's bad luck to open them inside, but I don't care because it's a tiny one. Look at it. So it's all like original Winnie the Pooh design and everything on it. So isn't that just so cute? And how tiny it is really cute. I also had this it was hung on my door and it's from the classic Pooh collection. We even still have the tag on it but it's something to hang on your door and it says be my honey and it's kind of like a cross stitch of Winnie the Pooh here. It's like a, just a little pillow. And then another thing from the classic Winnie the Pooh thing we even have it here on the back classic Pooh and it is just a framed picture of Christopher Robin with Winnie the Pooh there looking out the window and you also have little Eeyore down there. So I just think that's really cute and subtle like little thing to put in our eventual house that me and Michael have. Oh and there's Piglet! Can't even really see him but there's little Piglet too. Oh, that's so cute. Then we have some things that I even wore as a kid and hopefully I'll be able to have my kid wear them. But there are these really cute little Pooh moccasins. Look how cute they are! And they're so tiny. Look at that. That's adorable. But it's like little Winnie the Pooh there some flowers, cute little moccasins. And we have some Winnie the Pooh Christmas PJs for like a little kid. And then this is really cute. It is my pink little winter coat, little hood. It has Pooh and Piglet there embroidered. It's Winnie the Pooh and Honey Pot. But the buttons, the buttons are little Winnie the Pooh. Very cute, very cute little puppy jacket. Very last thing, my blanket. This was like my comforter in my room for a while growing up. I didn't know we still had it and I'm so happy that we did. So it was very much like the sage greeny kind of vibes in my room. You're here. This was more of like kind of the vibes of it. I don't want to unfold it too much, but you have Winnie the Pooh there, some more flowers and stuff like that. So and you have Piglet and everything. I love it. So so very very much so i'm very happy to have this and have found it i didn't know we still had it and that is everything from the july haul so a lot of funko pops but also just a lot of just other fun things and mementos and stuff so let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item that i got in my haul this month if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and until next time farewell